Hello friends, welcome to BSC B Picture. If you are coming to my channel for the first time, then don't forget to hit the subscribe button. The subscription and likes are always motivating us to put regular updates. So let's move to the video. In this video, we are going to see about fundamentals of entomology. I am going to teach you insect body work and about it, about its structure as well as function. So while seeing the body wall about its structure and function, you must need to know that they are made up of exoskeleton, which is also known as integuments. So the external body is said to be used as a covering and the ectoderm is in origin. So they used to have a rigid, rigid flexible and lighter as well as stronger and variously modified different body parts which is suited on the different modes of life as well as the different mode of environment. So the structure is innermost means for membrane. So the inner cuticular layer is epidermis as well as the outermost normmost layer is cuticle view. So it's how the structure is situated. So the first day we are going to see about the epidermis which is a unicellular layer resting on the basement membrane. So which is a basement membrane as well as the function is the cuticle secretion. So in the epidermis is where the cuticle secretion is said to be done as well as they use it for the digestion and absorption of old cuticle. So it can be able to create the new one as well as they use it to create the wound repairing forms in those cuticle wounds as well as they use a surface look in the insect body. It's what the mem members as well as the works of epidermis and this it's how the insect integument is to be done. So you can be able to see the trichogen cell in the form. So it's where the base form used to contain the trichogen cell as well as the epidermis as well as the dermal gland which is used for the secretion of wax seed layer in the insect. So up to the, the trichogen cell is to go on the hair like structure CT which is said to be known also known as a bridge still. It's how the material is used as a hair in the insect body. So the epicuticular layer is said to be formed and the duct of the dermal gland which used to excrete the galaxy outer layer in this. So the cuticle, so while seeing the cuticle there is said to be classified in the three sub layers which is endocuticle, exocuticle as well as the epicuticle where the devoid of as the base layer of cheating is said to be done. So the intercuticle which is the innermost and the thicker most layer which is made up of cheating as well as the arthropody, there is a big colorless which is soft as well as flexible one in the inside of the body. And the second one is the exoscuticle which is also the, the outermost layer which is used to have an outer layer which is much thicker and the proportion of cheating as well as the clay looking. They are said to be dark in color and they use it to have a rich, strong surface and the intercuticle and exoscuticle could trigger it to produce procuticle in the forms. So the epicuticle which is the divide of chitin, so they use it to be the most outermost layer. So it is said to be very thin which is an innermost semi variable membrane between the exoscuticle as well as the outer layer. So, and the third one is epicuticle, which is the inner epicuticle is said to be a protein layer which is secreted by the epidermal cells, which may mainly consist of wax flat filaments. And the second one is cuticulum, which is a lipoprotein layer which is present in the uh, epicuticle, as well as the wax layer, which is a, I have already told, which is uh, formed by the uh, duct glands so of the insects, so which is also known as ectocuticle layer so it is closely packed by wax molecules which prevents desiccation which reduces the loss of water molecule and the cement layer is said to be formed in the upper portion of wax layer so where the outermost layer formed by lipid and tanned proteins so it protects the wax layer from degradation so the cuticle is said to be provided a line of tracheal system as well as some plants and animal tree and reproductive plants in the insect body so it's how the whole structure of insect body set is said to be formed i have given some of the sectional as well as the typical insect cuticles so we have uh, up to now we have seen the cuticular layer so now we will see what are the compositions present in the chicken so the first one they are mainly composed of the cuticle as well as the norm which is a nitrogenous polysaccharide they use it to have polymers of N-acetyl glucosamine which is produced from the 
blood sugars as well as the tetrahydrolases of the epidermises so they are said to be mostly bodily insoluble but uh, they are which is uh, diluted or as well as soluble in dilute acids as well as alkalis and organic salts so it mainly constitute around 20 to 60 percent of the dry weight of cuticle in the insect body so chitin is one of the important compound which uh, which accounts for around 25 to 60 percent of dry weight and the other one the protein content is said to be around 25 to 37 percent where acroprotein where the untanned protein which is a monosoluble one and the scleroprotein which is the tanned protein which is watery insoluble and the resins which is another type of protein so they are said to be known as elastic protein which is responsible for the flexibility of things clearates in the animal insects so after that we are going to see about the endoskeleton which is a cuticular in the growing of body wall providing space for muscular attachment so it is said to be a bond between the outer layer as well as the inner tissues so there are said to be around two types of endoskeleton which is a apodermal and a so there are around two types of endoskeleton which is apodermal and apophysis so the apodermal used to have a hollow indication of body wall which is rigid like so for example tetrahedron of head as well as the apophysis which is the solid indication of body wall where they use it to have spine like structures so example sternal apophysis so and after that the cuticular process so the first one is non sternal minor hair so they use it to form a structures formed at the ends of meco petra and tira where the sternal and the clothing has so they use it to have the micro trichia at the fixed in the hat or usually is said to be done in the cuticular process so while seeing the cuticular appendages they are said to be mostly they are unicellular and they used to have a cd like structures which is a hair like structures example uh, first one is the clothing hair they used to have a thread like branches example pumos hair on the honey are stout and rigid pieces in the tanning plate is said to be an example and the scales which is the modified clothing hair example moths and butterflies we can able to see the scales in the wings as well as the glandular city which are functions as the outlet for the secretion of epidermal cells example which is found in the body has of caterpillar as well as the sensory city which we have seen with the hair like structure which is used to have a functions in the sensory which also contains neurons of the insect animals so after that the city or macrotria which is hair like growth all over structure which is developed as an extension of cuticle which is produced by single enlarged trichogen cell it's what i have shown in the picture so the socket form of cell housing trichogen is known as tormogen so you must need to remember it is which can be as been point wise so and the study of arrangement of ct is known as keto taxi so they are used to have a different study only particular for the insect ct so the cuticular process which is multicellular so they used to have two types the first one is spurs which on occur on legs as many insects and which is said to be a movable structure which is and another one is spines so there is a multicellular outgrowth of cuticle and they use it to have a thorn like structure for the defenses and they are said to be an immobile structure so i have given a classification of cuticular appendages the first one is non cellular so there is no epidermal association and they are rigidly attached and the example minor hairs and thorns and then cellular which can be used to be classified into unicellular as well as the multicellular while seeing the multicellular which is a movable one as well as the immovable one so the movable one can shoot around the spur and the immovable in the spine so unicellular they used to have clothing hair plumous hair as well as the distal scale and glandular city sensory city as well as the ct which is a hair like outgrowth from the epidermis so these are the unicellular classification you can remember so i have given the pictures of ct scales spur and spine and yes no silly which is a fixed hair on the insect body so it was the picture the plumous hair of honey bee so it was the hair which is present in between these two and now it's how the hair is to be formed and the body hair of caterpillar it's how the image in found in the microscope as well as the clothing hair ct which is present on the wings i have already told you it's how the scales are to be done and the spur and spine 
so spur is said to be an open one and the spine is an immovable one so where they are used for the defensive mechanism in insects like grasshopper etc so and the mitochondrial trichoma which is a small hair like structure which is found in the cuticular layer so which is said to be found in the flies so after that we are going to see about the dermal glands that have already told you that is to be a specialized set of cells of the abdomen which is used for the secretion of wax in their body so based on the different insect they are uh, classified as wax gland lac gland as well as some of the hormonal glands based on which type of insect they are present so i have given some of the glands dermal glands for example in wax gland which is found in scales honeybees and mirabugs so on lac glands which is present in lac lac insects and dripnatorial glands which is found in bugs as well as the pygnidian gland in beetles and the scent plant which is found in some of the lepidopterans as well as the hypodermal poison glands which is present in the cedia florida of slug caterpillars so we have now seen the structures as well as the different functions made by the organs of the body wall in insects so while seeing as yes, conclusion the functions of body wall so i have already told you it acts as an external organ for the internal organs of index which is used to act as a foundation for the attachment of muscles is said to be done by body wall and it also used to prevent the water loss of insects which is known as desiccation and they used to form base for some organs like ct scales spines which are used for the sensory motion as well as the defensive mechanism which also allow the movement and expansion of body is said to be done by the body wall so the base of sensory organs to sense the environment is said to be done by the body wall they use the have a tracheal which is for the respiration as well as the reproductive tracts so flying is found in the body walls of the insect they act as a reservoir of some waste material like meconia which is found in the body walls of the insects so i think so i have given the documents in the description if you have any doubts please comment in the section or else you can able to follow our instagram page which is based in the about section so if you like the video like it and share it with your friends and subscribe to bsc agriculture and hit the bell icon to get regular updates so thanks for watching the video thank you i'll catch you up in next videos